Hey guys, hope you all are good. Welcome to another interesting video on our Be Aware channel. So let's begin. Welcome to another interesting video on understanding Flexim. Hope you all are good. So in today's session, we will be learning basics of process flow. So we have already created part one and part two on token creation. So if you haven't watched those videos, please do visit our channel and watch part one and part two for process flow modeling. Today we will be understanding the basic part of the process flow. So today we will be covering assign labels, delay and custom code in this today's video. So let's begin. So this assign label, if you look at is basically used in order to assign the labels to tokens as well as the items and the objects which are present in the Flexim. So basically if you need to assign the labels in the Flexim object you know that we plus here assign enter the label value here and then on triggers we do enter the value of labels. But what if we need to assign the labels to the tokens? So for that purpose, we are having here this entity in the library, which if we use, we can assign the labels to the tokens. So if you click on the assign label, you can see the properties available here. You can assign the labels to n number of things. So you can assign it to entering token, parent token, child token. You can assign it from the objects by using global table lookup or you can do multiple features here. So these are the things we are having. And as I told, this is the plus button. If you click on, you can assign multiple labels for the single token you need to apply. So I'll just close this and I'll refresh and I'll add one more assign label here. So if you look at, we have two entities here. One is assign the name and another is assigning the value. So if you drop down in the name, you are having these properties which you can see, you can use based upon the things. So this is, you can use the process flow variable. This is the parameter you can use. This is the parametric feature we have. Then we can use it from the token label. We can use custom code for this. You can use name by cases, global table and by percentage. And this is for setting up the value. So what value you need to set up for that we have this n number of features. You can remove the label, create the label, increment label. You can use tables, you can use array features, warehousing features, agent systems you can activate. You can use standard distributions for this and there are multiple things which you can use. This is for the assign label properties. Once we are assigning the labels, we have another feature in the basic that is delay. So this delay entity is basically used to create a delay. The name itself implies that you need to wait for some time. So this will create a delay. So it is having only one property window where you can see you just need to enter the delay time. There are n number of another features and distributions you can apply depending on your requirement. So this is about delay entity. The third thing which we have in our process flow is custom code. So this is the most used or you can say this is highly dynamic entity. You can put anything with the help of this features inside the process flow. So this entity basically makes the process flow use dynamic. So if you click on this, you can also see the properties by clicking on this icons here as well as you can click on this whole entity here and you can have the property window on the right side. So if I do plus, so you can see you are having this release token, release batch, data sets you have, then controlling points you have, you can control uh, the fixed resource, you can control conveyor features you have, set the speed of the conveyor and so warehousing you can do, agent systems you can do, AGVs you can couple, decouple, uncouple, attach, detach, and we can also use reinforcement learning with the help of this custom code. So this is basically the Flexums feature of AIML using Python. We will also look at this in our upcoming videos. 
then we can end the model run stop objects there are a number of dynamic features we can do with the help of the custom code so this is the custom code entity which we are having so we will be creating a model now so what we are going to do is we are going to use this process flow and run the model so let's bring another queue also here so this is our q1 and q2 i will bring a inter arrival source into play in the process flow and assign inter arrival time as every two seconds and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create a part on the q1 once we are having a token from source so here is my create object thing i'm going to assign to create it in the q1 i'm going to drag a process flow connecting source to create object now once we are having object created what we need to do is we are going to assign the labels so say i am assigning a label to the token basically which is created from the source itself and what i am going to do is i am going to apply the sku name to it and that i'll say that as say tata nexon so now this value needs to be in the string okay we can put the numbers also but i need to put it as a string so now the sku name is say tata nexon now what we are going to do is i am going to apply connect this assign label to the delay so we are going to put a delay time of 10 seconds and then what we are going to do is we are going to move this part we are going to move the part to next queue that is queue 2 so now I'm connecting this delay to move object. We'll learn this move object and create object once we come to the object area in the process flow. But currently you can just have a look at what entities are been put. So this is the token.item itself and we are moving it to Q2. So token.items comes from the create object. If you look at, we have assigned the token name. So we are saying that whichever part has been created on the Q1, it is supposed to be token.item so we have assigned the label we have said a delay of 10 minutes we are moving the object to the q2 but now what once the object comes to q2 that object's color is supposed to be changed so what i will say is i need to set a object color so token.item is supposed to be getting changed to green color and then I'll send this token to sync. So sync is the very important feature always in the process flow because sync basically ends the process flow. So source starts it, sync ends it. Same also, we are also having a sync in our object entities in the fixed resource library. Similarly, we have it in the process flow named as sync in the basics. So what I'll do is I'll just reset and I'll just run the model. So if I am going to run it, so you can see we have received four tokens at an interval of two seconds in a runtime of eight seconds. So now this token is getting filled. If you could look at it is just like filling water in a round or spear flask. So this is what indicates is that this token is now about to end its delay. So it is about to complete the delay of 10 seconds and now this token will be released and when it get released the further activity in a process flow will be taken care of that is we are going to move the box from this q1 to q2 so if you look at once the tokens uh, timing of delay is completed the box has traveled from q1 to q2 and the custom code which we have applied of setting the color gets changed so the color of this box turns to green and then the tokens go to sync so I'll just run this model and you can look at, we will have that being taken care of. So we will have after every 10 seconds, the boxes will be transferred from Q1 to Q2 and the colors will be changed. So this is the process flow by using the basics, three entities that is assigned label to delay and the custom code. So this label basically is assigned to this tokens not the item so if you need to assign the labels to 
the item there is another feature we need to put in here is that we need to assign token.item so then this label will be set to the item we have told to set the uh, label only to the token so if you look at we have told that assign labels to token when we do this token.item then the labels will be assigned to the item so if i click on this token you can see that we have token.item which is box one and we have another label which we have assigned using assigned labels is SKU name Tata Nexon. So this is how we have created a process flow by using three basic entities assign label, delay and custom code. For learning more features do subscribe to our channel if you are new on the channel do like share and subscribe to our channel do visit our website beaverechannel.com for exciting stuffs and exciting offers we will meet in another interesting video till then take care stay healthy stay simulating jai hind